G'day, George. How are we, Master? Oh, good day, mate. I was expecting the father to come for the video today. Oh, nice really? <laughs> if you get oh, younger. boy, oh boy, a Lincoln toy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the beauty pills are working on you. Oh, you reckon? Yes. Right, right. Shift, shift my cup of tea. Okay, all right, okay. You cook so, the other. So what are we up to today? Today, we're going to do a little bit of lead lake windows today. This lead lake window here, out of a china cabinet. See there, little... Oh, yes, yeah. We've got to fix that today. Oh, it's got a hole in it. Yeah, a little bit of a... a ding, yeah. Which, which, which uh, you know, it's, it's a right china cabinet, so of course, they're always, always down here. Perfect night for the kiddies with the, you know, the balls and the... Bits of, the yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. they always get a bit of a... We were hiding, right. so we'll fix that today. Right. But um, before we do that, let's just look at cutting glass. A lot of a lot of people are scared of glass, um, so I'll show you how to cut it. Just get a bit of this is this is only two mil thick, very very thin glass, two mil. Right. It's got to be two mil because of the um, of the lead. So, oh, okay. Let's do that first. Like this. I'll do a giant version for you, shall I? This is the... Um... This is the lead in the lead like windows. It's called H, obviously. H came and it's C-A-M-E came and it comes with big long lengths. Like... This is how you buy it? Oh, you buy it in big long lengths like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the glass fits in there. Okay. And that's the part you see, so the glass fits in like that, see? All right. That's how it works. Golly gee. And it's, it's called HKM. And it comes okay. in all different sizes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but all, all the same. You get a little glass cutter. I'll show you a glass cutter. There's a, uh, get, these are cheap as $25, $30. Little glass cutter. And what you do is you simply you fill you fill that full of oil. Right. Just light oil, is it? You just light oil. Yeah. And then what you have is your little thread. And on the thread is a little little flat piece, see the flattened piece there? Yeah, yeah. And we're so what happens is, and screw it in. And then what happens is, you open it up, and the flat piece lets the air in, lets the oil out. See the little pump? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think so. so. Yep. See that? Can you see that? Yeah. And so when you press down, the oil goes down and lubricates the wheel. Okay. Now if you haven't got one of these, and you, 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 you've got your, just get it, your finger and just oil it, because oil will make the Cut, cut it a lot easier. I have um, a jam jar with my cutters and the bottom of the jam jar it's got a bit of cotton wool and some oil. Okay, and you're soaking in that all the time? Just, that's it. Yeah. And of course you can drop it in and because it hits the cotton wool there's no damage. See? Right. If you hit something hard you will actually blunt the little wheel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Okay. So when you get your wheel... Hold it like a pen or a pencil. Don't yeah. press too firm but you know, keep it so it's hit, hit the sound. Hear the sound? Oh, yep. And then yep. you just snap it. Just like that. Just like that. Simple as that. Gosh, golly you gee. If you're going to do, um, this is a bit of hard work. If you're going to do shapes or circles, say you're going to do um, that sort of shape, you know, for your lead light. Yep, yep. What you do is you put the artwork under the glass. Right. And then what you do is you push it away from you because if you go this way your hand is blocking where you're going. Right, okay. So yes. you push it away from you, you start there, this the, the head swivel, see you see off you go, and you just go round. Pushing quite firmly, round you go. See? And then round again. Hear the sound? Mm. So then what you want to do is you get a little metal end, you can tap it. See? Like so. There you Just are. Like that. There you are. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was uh well, so if you want to uh, if you're gonna have a glass with something that'd be straight there, uh, people will do that as yeah. well. So if you have yeah. a go yourself just Start off straight pieces. Start, and... start with straight lines. We'll find yeah. the centre. We'll, we'll, we'll do a lead light pattern. All right. All find right. the centre of the page. You can you can measure it out your leg or whatever. This is just as quick and just as easy. So you just 
this is set of a page. You'll get a, a felt tip and a ruler. You always use a felt tip, and I'll tell you why in a second. All right. Nice fine felt tip. Don't get too thick with a with a felt tip. So this this is going to be our lead like window. You're going to make. Always start with straight lines because it's just just simple, really simple. Yep. Until you get the hang of it, then start. Don't start with a, a peacock or a rose or something. You know, start you know or a bunch just, of grapes. Just simple stuff. Simple yeah. stuff till you get the hang of it. If you get the hang of the of the soldering and the cutting. Yep. So there's got that's that's your little end like window. Get a pen and we'll write down that's gonna be for argument's sake, that's gonna be red and red. Could be any colour you like. Yep. It's gonna be blue. And blue. And blue. And that's I don't know, what's that? That can be I don't know, that's that's pink. For argument's sake, okay, pink. Yep. Etc. And once you've got that, then you get your glass and you'll offer it up. Now with this, the felt tip pen, what you do is you cut either side of the felt tip. Not really. Try a glass cutter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> try, <laughs> try either side of the felt tip, all right. So you, so you start off with there. You see? Yep. And you snap that. Sometimes if you can't pick it up, um, I've got this little toy here, and rather than pick the whole thing up, I'll just put that underneath the edge. See? Right there, eh? Yeah. If right. you haven't got one of them, just bend a screwdriver over. Just okay, so. right. And then what you do, you move it across, felt tip, felt tip gap in the centre. Yeah. And what that's for, that is for this piece of lead here. Right. You have to allow for that piece of lead. Yeah, and it's about that thick, is it? It's about that thick, yeah. Okay. You have to allow for that. I'll keep a piece of lead. This is, this is the balance. This is your actual lead, so that's, that is that, as you can see. Yep. With a with sketch. And, and that felt tip allows for that. The glass goes that way, allows yep. for that little tiny piece in the centre. Right. Yep, yep. Because if you're doing a window and you measure the size of the frame, Yep. If you don't allow for that little bit of gap in between, it will creep and creep and creep and it won't fit the, the yeah, frame it's made yeah, for. This, and they're hard yeah. to cut down. Once they're made. When two or three moles is it's quite hard to knock off. Isn't exactly it? right. Yeah, but yeah. And over a period of, of, of a big window, it's 25, 30 mils. Yeah, yeah. Right. Very good. Yeah, that's, so that's how you that's how you do glass. So this, right. Put that on one side. This glass, there's all this different coloured glass is available, is it? Well, yeah, you can go to any glass centre and get it. Even at your local glaziers. Local glaziers carry a wide variety of glass. They'll even do oh, okay. a lot of, uh, uh, where they take out a lot of uh, broken windows. Yeah. You, if you have a chat with them, you know, drop them some beers or a couple of bob, they'll put all that in, the, in, the, in, the, in a box for you and you yeah. get a whole pile of glass. Right. Which is going to go in their bin anyway. Yeah. And glaciers are more than happy to help you with that sort of stuff. Right. That's, that's, that's good to know, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. So anyway, so now... No. Okay, we shall put on the table. So this is the lead line. No, yep. they're actually... They're made flat. All right, and then you curve them yourself. It's okay. only lead, so how you fix it is just... Squash it flat again. Just like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then when you come to curve them again... You just... Uh, put your, you put your finger on each solar joint and just curve. Curve, curve, yep. see? Curve around the gun. Right. Gosh, okay. So we're going to have a go at this one here. That middle one. Now, often you, you cut through the solar joints to get to get to that piece, you see? Mm. But often you break that piece cutting the solar joints. So we always go for the smaller edge rather than the big edge. You're wasting less glass. Okay. All right. But before we do that, We've got to cut the piece to suit. So I've got to... But that's all right. Actually, that's just, it's, it's perfect height, actually. Just amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. So what we do is, if you, we put it slightly over the lead, so it slides yep. in, all yep. right? And we have to cut in the middle of this lead here. Yep. So we get a little straight edge, and I'll cut it. And you trim it. Once you there, hold it firmly 
You don't think the slide halfway through the cut. Done. Hey, we'll just snap that off. If you find it's going to be too small, this, this, isn't, this isn't too small. If you find it's going to be too small, just get a pair of pliers and just, there we are. Just like that. Just like that. What I tend to do, I tend to sort of cut it in small bits so you don't have big jags of glass everywhere. Sometimes it cuts along the whole thing. Just drop it. See? There you are. Put it all all goes away. Put it in the box that way if you want to. Now we have our little lead knife. These little things here, it's called a lead knife, you know. And they come different sizes, different shapes and things. Uh, and that, you know, like one guy said to me once before, ah, oh, you've got all the gear. You, yeah, well, once you've got it, you've got it. You know, if, if you're going to get involved in these things, you have to have the gear. Yeah. They're yeah. only 30 bucks or something. Yeah, but I mean, you can you can have an old putty knife or something. Oh, of course you have anything at all, yeah. What, what I use is this one which is here, which is for cutting pizzas. <laughs> that's okay. how you use <laughs> Right. <laughs> if you want to spend $30, you know. So we get our... Now the first thing you do is you get a felt tip, all right, and you mark the glass. Because often you, off you go and you start and you, sit, you find you cut the wrong one. But right. All right, so human error. It's time, it's money and all this sort of stuff. It's a bastard being human, John. Bastard. Yeah, yeah. So we cut through this down to the glass. All right. It has to be sharp, of course. Now these ones, you tend to cut at an angle. All this right. This piece or this piece? This is a perfect example. This is a perfect example. There you are. There we go. Oh, that we broke the glass already. That's where we go for the smallest piece. Yeah. Plus I'm rushing for the camera. That's it. I'll make a little note to oh. it. You spin the whole panel over and we cut this side. There we are. And there's our leather way. Right. This side too. That's it. And now we simply take out all our broken dots. There we go. This piece too. Come on. Done. Just like that. Wear gloves if you're not so happy about, about handling glass. Don't always wear gloves. Now, with our little hooky thing, we then have to go inside here and take out all the little bits of cement. The whole thing cemented together. Using like a like a putty or we can actually make your own cement for this stuff. And this stops the glass from rattling. It also makes it watertight for, for windows, oh, for right, exterior right. So, windows. So it's not just the, the the friction of the lead that's sealing everything up. No, not at all. Oh. Right. Give it a brush down. Now then. Little horseshoe nails. Little flat horseshoe nails. Gosh. And what these are for? These are ideal. So these are, do you know, a little lead hammer. Okay. It's a pretty sexy looking lead hammer, isn't it? <laughs> it is, isn't it? And we put that in the bowl of your hand. Yep. And just tap it in. So you keep the whole thing nice and tight together. Now we get our bit of glass that we've already cut, like so. And we slide it in. I always take the little nibble off the end because you can never guarantee that corner has been blocked by a little bit of solder. Right. And we slide it in. There we go. Close it up. Get a couple more of our nails. Always go on the joints if you can. Now 
Done. Simple, isn't it? Yes. That's nice, nice and tight in there. Lovely. So we get our little bit of lead that we took out before. We put it back. Always put the same piece back if you can. This piece isn't quite keen, so we'll give it a bit of We put that back in. There we go. We get our tin that away. So because we broke the piece, the piece that was broken before, back in. To replace this. Yes. Uh, yeah. Because you know it's good, you know for a fact it's the same thickness. Right. Does it matter how old it is? Glass no at all. Freehand if you want to, use your straight edge if you want to. There you are. And same thing with your pliers, take your nibble off the end. There she goes. A lot of myths about lead lights and stained glass windows, but as you can see, it just isn't that hard, is it really? No, you made it look easy. It's so easy. And there we have our piece of lead that came out, which goes that way. Get a little flat. And there's our repair done. Right. Now we have to solder the joint itself. Okay. So. Soldering. This is my little soldering station. And what I did was I just got a, I just got a bit of a bent wire and just cooked it round so it doesn't burn the timber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the solid pieces I just tap into there. Right. And it needs that nice big head on it, does it? And not necessarily, no. But um, yeah. I've, I've got some smaller ones. But right. this will do. It, it puts a lot of heat into it, you know. Yeah. Uh, in, a, in a hurry, and I like that, you know. Okay. But you've got to be careful if it's too hot because. Leave it too long, it will actually melt a big lump and the lead's gone as well. Right. So you can't afford it. No. They've got to be nice and shiny to clean our joints. Because this is cleaning the joints. So you get our little knife again and you just simply scratch right down to get some nice clean lead, which is happening there. See the lead there? Right. Nice clean. There we go. And this side, just give it a bit of a scratch. See that you can't, you can't clean all the dirt. It doesn't work. We'll do this side as well. Just expose some nice clean fresh lead. And that's it. Right. What happens is over a period of time the lead oxidizes and you get this horrible, and they're horrible, um, probably the wrong word. You get, you get this you get the blackness. It's like of, a discoloration or something. Yeah, discoloration. Which is, which is nice. But you can't actually soldier over it. There we are. Cool. Just give it a bit of a test. Oh, you ever getting there? Good not yeah. take long, is it? Is that soap, is it? Uh, no, this is a flux candle. It's an animal wax, animal fat, sorry. Flux candle. Flux. That we're going to use to um, help the solar flow. In fact, I'll show over here, uh, John, what you do is you get your little candle. It comes in quite a decent sized piece. Okay. And you rub it over the joint. Just rub it over the joint. Right, okay. And that's all you do. But I was just testing how hot the, uh, the iron was there. Right. A little bit more, nearly there though. Getting close. Give it another couple of minutes and we're done. There we go. Oh, look at that. Perfect. And you've got your little handy piece there, the pair of pliers to hold it. Oh, yes. It must get a bit warm, does it? Well, the, the heat transfers across down, down the... Right, so now we offer it up. Get a little bit of solder in there. There she is. And just heat it up. Right. A bit more. There you go. Just right there. And it flows right through the whole joint. And there we are. Pick up the glass. And that's it done. So, by all means, give this a go, you know. Forget all the myths and legends about, oh, it's stained glass, it's so hard. It's so hard. Yeah. You know, forget all that sort of stuff. It just isn't that hard. Right.
Give it a go. You, you do both sides, but for the sake of the camera, I won't bother. Take, All right. You take your pins out. Yep, yep. And then what you have to do is see all these little tiny pieces here. This is the old cement that we took out. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yep. So, yep. So what we're going to do now, we're going to, you, if you if you get into on a serious basis, you can't actually make big bats of cement. You know, using like sort of um, bald lint and all and and limestone whitening and make a big gooey sort of treacly mess. Okay. For the small repairs. I just use a glazing compound. Okay. Well, there's two different types here. You've got a, a steel sash compound. Right. Which you get from good old Glass Corp. Any glazing gear at all you want, anything at all, look up Google Glass Corp because they've got everything. Right. Absolutely okay. everything. All right. You can buy a glazing van off if you want to. Gosh. Okay. And that's just purely for steel. Yeah. Uh, or you can have a new mixture which is for wood and metal. Right, this is the, and the wooden one would must have linseed oil in it, doesn't it? Or? It used to have. The, this is this is more of a mask now, I think. Um, right. You can still get linseed oil, putty, right. but uh, right. but this is a more. But, uh, but we'll use this because it's I've already opened this one. So okay, there okay, big good. Now what I've done, I've added some, I've added some turpentine to this um, this steel sash to get a nice gooey. Horrible gooey sort of. Oh, it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, because what you want to do, you want to get it right into the into the, the lead. And with the steel uh, putty, it's quite firm. And as, as you push it, you can often break the glass. Right. Okay. So, so this, the easier the easier it goes in. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we'll get ourselves a little bit of. Let me just force it in. But I'll, there you go, I'll push it in. Make it. Makes a lovely mess, doesn't it? It's pretty good stuff. And it goes right. And if you've got if you've got a felt tip uh, pen uh, on this, the tips will tip. We'll do that at the same time. Pick up all the felt tip for you. It's one job less, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. A <laughs> bit more of the gooiness. And just push it right under the in between the lead and the glass the whole way. Just push it under. You can see it moving. Right? Oh yeah, it's going. Crack it all up. And that's it all done. So now we now you get the gooey part, you get your finger, and you push it in with your finger and then wipe it off. You can see it's going right underneath the glass to the other side? Yeah. So it's going right through the entire glass. That's what you, you want it to wrap around the whole glass. That's what you're trying to achieve. And it's sealed up then, isn't it? Yeah, because then you know you've got it right around the whole the whole yeah. piece and there we are right now we let that dry for a little while yep then once it's once it has dried let's let's pretend it has okay yep right and you see and it's dried and you can wipe it off like so and that's what's left right just like there. and then you bend it as we showed before and yep put it back in the china cabinet with the china cabinet the, the glaze on the inside so you've got to actually Get your hands and knees, climb inside, and you know, fold it around, put the little tiny beads back on. You know, that's how they're done. But awkward. Okay. Some of them, some of the other earlier ones, you know, slip the back off and they slid around. But most of them, you've got to climb inside. Is that right? Gosh, yeah. okay. You've got to take your shelves off first. There, there's there's a layer there. Yeah. This stuff hasn't got linseed oil on it, has it? Uh, no, this one has it. No, uh, linseed oil is purely for timber. Um, th this one, because it still frames and Timber frames and um, linseed oil works. Uh, what happens is the timber absorbs the linseed and the, the putty goes hard. On oh, the timber really? frame, okay. timber frame doesn't work that way. Timber frame you have to allow for evaporation in the air. Steel frame. The steel frame, sorry. Yeah, 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 frame, yeah, yeah. So that's how it works. After all these years, I never knew that. <laughs> Golly gee. So there you. Go. Right. If you can do this, anybody can do it. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So can you, because I can do this, anybody can do this. One so, thing I should mention is, see the new shiny solar joints there? Yep. Well, what you do is with them is, I'll get the toolbox back up. Right. I have a toolbox just purely for lead lights. Right. Yep. Now, in one of my little drop, drop lids, we have... Wrong one, of course, didn't we? You have this little... Shear polish brush. Simple as that. And you, right. just, you just polish them, isn't it?
may see disappear. <laughs> slowly, slowly split. Same thing again. A massive big jar of belt more grease. <laughs> and th on she goes. Yeah. Right. And that's your solar joint. Of course, that's hidden by, by the bead anyway, but just yeah. with the middle ones, you'll do the same in the middle ones. Yeah. Well, I hope people, I hope people try these things because they, the old lead light was quite popular, wasn't it? It still is. It still is. Oh, yeah, yeah it still is. It's very popular. Yeah, um, especially not so much in the city, certainly, but certainly around some of your rural areas, some of your villas, and mm -hmm. it is making it, it never go away. No. And it no. always will. Um, like churches are different market. That's that's a stained glass, not a lead light. Right. That's a painted picture, which is, which you had stained to the glass, which is then fired in the kiln. Right. So and that goes back to the days of. Um, when people had no schooling and they couldn't, they couldn't read or write, and what happened? They go to church every Sunday, and what they had was the Bible in pictures around the church, and so the sermon would be picture number six, you know. Yeah, of the yeah, waves. yeah, and that would tell the story. And that would tell the story of the sermon, and that's what that's how the whole thing started off. Started off, but um, then of course, uh, well, a lead light is just purely just a, a glass jigsaw. Yep. Whatever shape you make and what colours you make create the picture. But a stained glass, you hand paint the picture. Right. Which is a very big skill. And, uh, and that, there's a apprenticeship for that. Just for that? Just for that, yeah. Yeah. In fact, it's the huge. guitarist, um, Eddie Clapton, that's how he started off in life. Was he one of these he things? Was one of them, he yes. was a stained glass man, eh? Stained glass man, yes. <laughs> Golly gee. Yeah. Oh, that's really, really cool. Thank you so much for showing those uh, things. Those are little tips and tricks and bits and pieces. Of yeah, I'd call that cool bananas, John. Yeah, cool bananas here again. <laughs> all right, okay. Okay, all right, okay. Yeah, right, till next time.